Hello everyone, Tini here. I hope your day is going wonderful. I'm so glad you're joining, joining me if I could talk. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today we're going to create a beautiful floral card. We're using a new die set that arrived over at the Paper Tray Ink Shop. This is the Big Bloom Zidia die set. It creates two large blooms and then you get some leaves and some layerable flower centers. For my card today, we are going to make a Just Because card using a new stamp set. It's called This Is Big Sentiment Celebrate. I, were, I love the font of here, so we're going to be stamping this, die cutting it out, and then I thought we would just celebrate the little things today. We're going to use the secondary sentiment or the sub-sentiment that says that. Let's jump in and get started. First, what we're going to do is die. Today, we're not going to use the large bloom. We're just going to focus on the small one. And I thought we'd fill a background of blooms um, or zinnias with just the smaller flower. So we'll die cut out the small flower along with the leaves, um, the flower centers. Now, I mentioned that we're going to be creating a background filled with flowers, and obviously we can't do that with one flower. But all the flowers are going to be the same, but I wanted to share with you how I created the flowers. So I die cut just one set, and then I'll do four more off of camera. Okay, we have both the flowers were die cut out with Paper Tray Inks Melon Berry cardstock. I have the leaves that were in our die set. I die cut these out with Spring Moss. Um, the flower center here. I think I would say, see this is like the stamen area. This is die cut out with paper tray inks Malaberry. And then we also have some white cardstock with this flower center. I said Malaberry, but I meant berry sorbet. <laughs> okay, let's bring in the craft mat and some inks for today. We're going pretty basic, and I'm bringing in hibiscus burst for the flower, new leaf. For our leaves, I'm for the flower centers, I'm using a little bit of dark chocolate. And then for my greeting, I'm going to be using limeade ice. Okay, we're going to add some color to the base of our flowers with hibiscus burst. I love adding oranges. I love adding pinks to oranges or oranges to pinks. To do that, I'm going to bring in one of my blending brushes. I'm just going to pick up some ink. And we're going to start with the base. What I like to do is add quite a bit of a dark area on one side and then turn it and just kind of adjust it. And all of my leaves are going to be a little bit different because I might put the dark side on this side of the petals on this layer, okay? I'm going to do the same thing with the top layer. These petals are a little bit more visible, but I love how when you layer them together, it looks like there's lots and lots of layers, but they really there's only two. I'm going to darken one side here, and then we'll come over here and darken this side. And I'm really kind of hit and missing. I like the light and the dark areas. I think it adds a nice little touch to the flowers. So that's all we do with these flowers. I'm going to flip this one over. I want to add a piece of foam tape behind here. To layer these, it's very easy. There's really honestly no right or wrong. It doesn't line up and it's intentional because you want it to look like it's nice and full. But what I like to do is at least find a large gap and line it up with this gap. And so we'll just do that here. But you can see it doesn't line up, but it looks like there's tons of layers in here. So that's all there is to this. I'm going to put this to the side. I'm going to bring in my leaves. I'm going to add a little ink with my blending brush using my new, new leaf ink. And again, I'm not going to go over the whole leaf. Usually for my leaves, I just like to go on one side. And then I like to add a real heaviness on just one area like this. I'll do the same thing to this leaf. After I have this done, I'm going to actually bring in some of my dark chocolate ink. I often like to do this. This is great if you like vintage style cards. But what I'm going to do is take a finger dauber this time, pick up a little bit of my dark chocolate ink, and I'm going to add some of my dark chocolate ink to my leaves here. I'm going to add a little to the bottom and then a little bit to the top. I think this just gives us a little bit of a, a realistic look. 
And if you have some bright flowers, it really does look stunning together. Let me show you what it looks like up close. Just that little extra brown really does a lot. So those are our leaves. Now we have our flower centers. I chose white for the main flower center and I'm going to use that same dark chocolate finger dauber and I'm going to add it on the edges and kind of fade in. I definitely want a highlight of that white right in the middle. And it really doesn't matter how dark you get the edges here because this piece here is going to cover it. Okay, so this is this flower center. I'm going to go ahead and add this with a little bit of glue to my flower. I think that looks good too. I think that looks pretty. But we're going to elevate it just a little bit more with this piece. I'm going to again pick up some of my dark chocolate ink. We're going to add it to at the edges of this, just on the outside. And I'm kind of hit and missing it too. I'm going to show you what this looks like close up. So we have some dark edges kind of hit and missing the colors. Okay, I'm going to flip this over, but this time I better grab my tweezers. Just a small ring of glue, and then this is going to go directly over that flower center. Just going to press that down. Now if you wanted to add a little extra dimension to the flower center, you could pop that up with some foam tape. But since we popped that first layer up, I think this is plenty. I'm just going to go around those petals and kind of do a little fluffing with them. Okay, and that is all there is to the flower. Pretty simple to create, but it's beautiful. Let me show you them together. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a couple more sets of leaves maybe three more sets of leaves and then four more flowers and I will be right back. Now all of my flowers and leaves are done. Okay, I'm going to bring in some scratch paper. I'm going to add a little bit of shimmer to all of these because for the most part my, my card is going to be pretty basic and when it's basic I always like to elevate it somehow and so today we're going to go ahead and add some sparkle. I'm using my sparkle shimmer spritz Okay, once it's shook up really good, I'm going to go ahead and add some spray to my flowers and my leaves. It's kind of hard to tell. Right now it's pretty saturated. I'm going to let this dry, but in the meantime we're going to stamp our sentiment. For my sentiment, we're going to stamp Celebrate, and then I'm going to use the Coordinating Celebrate die. Since the Celebrate is a little bit on the solid side, what I'm going to do is die cut out my Celebrate first, and then we'll stamp. Then we're also going to stamp the little things, so I have another piece of cardstock in here. Okay, I thought we would use Limeade Ice to stamp our, our sentiment. Kind of bring out the green in those leaves, so I'll ink this up. And I'm using my stamping positioner today only because I want to stamp a couple of times. I'm going to go ahead and stamp this. For my sub sentiment that says the little things, I'm going to use my dark chocolate ink. So it will coordinate with those flower centers. Lovely. So my greeting is good to go. We're going to put this to the side and now we're going to work on our background panel. I have some paper tray ink, an A2 panel, so it's four and a quarter by five and a half inches of paper tray inks lemon tart cardstock. What we're going to do is bring back craft mat here. I'm going to bring in my panel and then I'm going to use that same Limeade Ice ink, this time with a larger blending brush. I'm going to add a little bit of color to the edges of my panel. Kind of highlights that center area. For today's card we're going to put our greeting right in the center so I just kind of wanted the, the focal point to go directly in the center. Now before we add our flowers I'm going to bring in some ribbon. 
I'm using paper tray inks. I believe this is Melonberry. It has polka dots on there. Paper tray ink has lots of different ribbon. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around this panel. And I'm going to tie a bow towards the top here. What I'm going to do next is flip this over. We're going to add some adhesive behind here and this is going to go directly on the front of an A2 size card base. After we, it looks kind of like a present, huh? <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and bring in our flowers. Now I'm going to use glue to adhere my flowers because we're going to go directly over the ribbon. So I'm going to add some glue. We're going to go ahead and take all of our flowers. They're nice and sparkly. And I'm going to start with this side here. We'll tack that down. We'll add some glue. Once I'm happy with the placement, I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and I'm going to trim the excess flowers that are overhanging. What's nice is you can actually use those extra pieces for any extra areas that need some more flowers. I almost trimmed my ribbon. <laughs> okay. Now I know I want to put a, another flower over here, just kind of tucking it. Now that we have all of our flowers, we added a few extra corners here. Now we're going to use the glue and just tuck in our leaves and the open areas. Okay, lovely. There's our leaves. Now we're going to add our greeting. I'm going to add it right down the center of our flowers here. For this, I'm just going to use my tape runner. After we have our celebrate, we're going to go ahead and add the little things right down the middle here. And then I'm going to finish this card off with a little added sparkle. I'm using my unicorn stickles right in the center, just a little bit. And that will finish off my card today for Paper Tray Ink. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a fabulous day and we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.